Thanks for joining us at Ares Defense. We've had a request from Robbie, one of our Ares SCR customers, uh, to provide a brief video that shows the disassembly of the Ares SCR as she has a match coming up and would like to clean her rifle before attending. Uh, those instructions are covered in the operator's manual beginning on page 12 and uh, I strongly urge everyone to read this manual before attempting disassembly cleaning and reassembly of the rifle. I have done this a few times, so I'm just going to set the manual aside and walk you through the basic disassembly process of this rifle. Now you'll notice this particular rifle is fitted with the optional bolt catch. We did that deliberately because we know that Robbie already has one. So let's begin by making sure there is no, manu uh, correction, no magazine installed in the rifle and we want to charge it back and visually inspect that chamber and make sure there's absolutely no ammunition around the cleaning area or installed in the weapon. So to begin, once we've cleaned, uh, correction, once we've cleared the weapon, we're going to take a, an instrument and press the rear takedown pin. From the left to the right, it is captive, so you will not lose it. And simply swing the receivers apart. Now, when you cock the weapon, you'll notice that the hammer locked open. You'll of course want that safety on. You can remove the optional bolt catch by simply pulling up and setting it aside. Next you'll want to take out the front pivot pin, which is also captive, and pull it to the right, separating the upper and lower receivers. Set your lower receiver aside. The next step is pull back on the charging handle. You draw the bolt carrier group out to the right and the charging handle down and out. So the main area that gets really dirty in firing because of the direct gas system is the bolt group. To separate that bolt group, press this pin this is part is called the carrier strut. Take the strut pivot pin out and set the strut to the side. You'll see this one's quite dirty from firing. I'm not going to take the time to clean it in this video. I'm simply wanting to show the breakdown instructions. The next step is to push the bolt back, grab that firing pin and remove it. At this stage you'll notice the, this is called a cam pin and the cam pin head will need to be rotated 90 degrees so that, let me bring this around so you can see, so that the cam pin head can clear the gas key. And The next step is to pull the bolt straight out of the bolt carrier. As I mentioned, I'm not going to take the time to clean this, but there are a few steps that I would like to go through. One is alignment of the gas rings. You want to make sure that these three rings are not aligned with each other and that they're somewhat evenly spaced apart from one another. That will help, that will help ensure that the gas seals um, when firing. So to reassemble once you've cleaned the gun, uh, insert the bolt into the bolt carrier. Careful that you, when you're inserting it you don't damage the gas rings and you'll feel them kind of compress. You align the cam pin hole with the bolt carrier. Take your cam pin, put the narrow end parallel to the gas key and it will drop right in place. Pull the bolt sharply forward and then reach back through and rotate that 90 degrees. Okay. Once you've done that, you'll be able to insert the firing pin straight into the back of the bolt carrier group, press it forward. I like to hold my finger over the end and cycle the bolt and visibly see the protrusion in the firing pin, uh, of the firing pin through the bolt face. Pull that back forward 
The next thing you're going to do is take the carrier strut and bring it into the back of the slot and align that hole. Sometimes it's helpful to take a small punch and kind of pre-align it using a punch and then take your pivot pin and gently slide it through there until it's evenly disposed between both sides of the carrier. Once you've done that, you'll now, to reassemble it, take your charging handle assembly, you insert it into the back of the upper receiver and you'll feel it snap into its track. And you, Once it's locked in, you can move it slightly but it won't fall out. You want to have it maybe two or three inches behind. With the bolt pulled all the way forward, insert it back up into the bolt back of the uh, upper receiver and slide everything forward until it clicks. Now you can bring this around and notice that the carrier is not sitting back but is actually fully pressed forward until it's seated against the barrel extension face. The next step would be to take your optional bolt catch and line up the slot and slide it all the way in until it seats into the lower receiver. Now this is probably the trickiest part coming up to reassemble. You'll notice that there's a cup here in the back. This is the main action spring in the Ares SCR rifle. And that cup must be engaged by the tail end of the bolt carrier. Let me detail that a little bit for you. When everything's reassembled, the back of that strut will be sitting into this cup. So unlike a traditional AR-15 where, where uh, you can just close the receivers, you do want to have these separated. Using gravity to help you out, you'll rotate both parts this way, and you and I'm just going to turn them to the side so you can see. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring this rear lug right behind the trigger and slide these two together, ensuring, let me try and get a detail here, ensuring, looking through this area, that that strut engages that cup. So once you put them together, what I like to do is actually grasp the action before I push the pins and make sure that weapon's will cycle freely. If it does, reach around with your fingers, push that rear pin in first, and then push the front pin. Give it a quick function check, make sure there's no ammunition, take the safety off, fire, hold the trigger, release, and it should fire. And that's it. Pretty straightforward.